Let's go back to our chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, in southern Israel. Good morning again, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Michael. As we keep saying, we're seeing this build up for a potential land, in, land invasion. We're now getting more information on some of those almost 200 hostages that were taken by Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. This, though, before these people start to roll across the border, it seems there is still time for diplomacy. This morning, the White House announcing that President Biden will visit Israel on Wednesday. The president will reaffirm the United States' solidarity with Israel and our ironclad commitment to its security. This news comes as the first video emerges showing one of those hostages taken into Gaza. Hamas, the militant group behind the brazen attack on October 7th, releasing video of 21-year-old French-Israeli citizen Mia Shem. Her family giving us permission to show these images. She was kidnapped with many others from the music festival. I just ask that you'll bring me home as soon as possible to my family, she says. To my parents, to my brothers, please get us out of here as soon as possible. Overnight, her family speaking out. I'm begging the world to bring my baby back home. The International Red Cross saying they've met face to face with Hamas leaders, pushing for the immediate release of the hostages and for access to them to check on their condition. Many of the nearly 200 hostages, which includes Americans, are believed to be held somewhere in miles of underground tunnels dug by Hamas. And this morning, growing concerns in Gaza as Israeli defense forces prepare for a land incursion. Strikes hitting Gaza again overnight, including in the south, where the Israeli military has urged Palestinians to flee for their safety. Residents there seem digging through the rubble, desperate to find survivors of the bombing. Well, there are genuine concerns that this conflict could spread increased fighting in the north. But now warning from the deputy commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, warning that another shockwave could be on its way to Israel. President Biden not just coming here, also crossing the border into Jordan, meeting the, he uh, the, uh, the head of Egypt, uh, the Palestinian Authority, as well as the Jordanian king. Time underway to try and introduce some level of diplomacy, but real concern in the Arab world that this conflict could spread.